Hi, I'm Derek Kerr with Evolution Wheel, and today we're back near Humphrey, Nebraska, where we're running our Pivot Series tire on the end tower of this pivot behind me. Um, last time we were here, it was June 15th, to give you a progress update on this set of tires. It's now July 26th, and these tires have been running for another five weeks. The corn is tasseled out, and it's roughly at brown silk stage, or it's coming right into it. And it's really gonna start using a lot of water to fill out cobs. It's also 102 right now, and it's gonna be 102 all week. So uh, a lot of heat and a lot of water to keep that corn alive and, and filling out cobs and growing properly. So let's jump into the field and show you the progress that this tire's made compared to the 11224s beside it on the next two towers in terms of tracking and performance in the last five weeks. Okay, so we found our pivot track. This is the low spot in this field. As you can see here, just with rainfall events, the, the bottom is filled in with silt again. Uh, this is actually the track for where our pivot tire is running. And um, there's really not much to look at, but come on in with me and let's take a good look at exactly what's here. So this is about five, 10 feet um, off the edge of this low spot. And you know, as you can see here, it's about a give or take an inch. Um, and that's coming down in or coming back out because this pivot's running both ways, right? And if you come in a little further, um, basically it maintains that inch or less once you get to, you know, 10, 15 feet out. And uh, if you can kind of get down low and look down the track, it starts to disappear actually as the ground levels out and it becomes a normal part of the field. So, um, I guess what I have to report here is I don't have much to report. Um, the tire is performing the way that we expect it to and really not leaving a track um, or much of a track at all. So um, after, this would be five weeks since we were here last and the tire was running before that. So um, all, basically two months of running in this field and we've got a witness for a track. Um, I'm pretty happy with that result so far, but obviously we'll keep going through the season and see how it develops. Let's go over to the 11224 track that's on the next tower beside it and just see what the differences are and, and if there are any. Okay, so we're at the next track over from the end tower where our pivot tires are running. This is basically the track for the 11224 pneumatic. Um, you can, you can kind of see it here, but it's a little bit gullied from rain. So let's just walk back up and um, take a peek. Um, you know, there, there is a track here leading in Comparatively, it's, again, it's a little bit hard to tell because of the, the rain, but it is a little bit worse um, than what we had where our pivot track is, um, where our tire's running on the end tower. So I'm gonna say it's roughly like twice the depth, but with the rain, it's a little bit tough to tell. So um, it does track on up and uh, it's fairly consistent like this. Let's go and look at the next tower over as well, um, just to get a comparison between the two tracks and the same tire. Okay, so uh, we're at the third tower now in this field. Basically, ours is on the end tower. Next one in is 11224 pneumatic. Third tower in is here, 11224 pneumatic. This is the pivot track for that tire. As you see on the last one, it was a little bit gully. Um, we just want to get a little bit broader piece of information, and that's why we're here. This would be two months of running on this pivot and uh, in the irrigation season. So come on in, let's take a peek. All right, so here we got our track for the 11224. Um, same thing, we're about 10, 15 foot off that gully um, as we were on the end tower and the next one in. Now, here you can see a lot deeper track and a lot more pronounced track forming. Um, you can still see the chevron lugs in the, in the dirt. And uh, if I step into the track, basically my ankles disappeared. Two months with an 11224 pneumatic running. Um, at this point in this field, we're at about a six inch track. And on the end tower, we're at, you know, half inch, inch or zero with our uh, pivot series. So um, tail of the tape is starting to form here after two months. And with the corn being the stages it's in, we're roughly brown silk uh, or coming into brown silk with this uh, field particularly. And, um, you know, the cobs are gonna start filling, water's gonna start coming down and, um, this track's only gonna get worse through the season. It's gonna be 102 today. You know, corn will burn up if it doesn't get water. So guys are gonna be running pivots, keeping corn growing, keeping alive, 
and letting it fill cobs right now. Again, two months, this is where we're at. We're gonna come back here though in another month and see how it's progressed. Okay, so uh, what I saw down in the bottom really wasn't, I thought, enough. So um, not a lot of track down there, but when I come up here, we actually corn crashed and went right behind the pivot. So the pivot just went over here. There's water in the track and on the ground now. Um, and this just sort of validates what we saw down in the bottom um, where this track is very shallow, if anything, minute ridges on either side. Um, and after a couple of days, you know, if there was a rain that went past, there'd be a little bit of erosion on here and um, it would be really difficult to find this track. So um, makes sense what we're seeing down there after coming up here and looking at this track. At this point of the season, I'll take what this looks like right now. Just based on, on what I'm seeing, it would be very difficult to find this track. So again, we're somewhere in the half inch to inch range max. Um, and mostly it's just ridging on the sides that you see uh, small ridges and I'm being picky at this point. Um, so that's where we're at. Let's go find the 11.224 and just con compare apples to apples so that we can really see what it looks like now. Okay, so we're standing at the 11.224 track now. This is at the second tower in, right beside where our tire is running. Um, and again, the pivot just went through here. So um, water's in the track and uh, we're getting polleny and wet walking through corn. Um, but just want to show you exactly what's going on. So really the track here isn't too bad. Um, you know, this is a higher part of the field, so you would expect that to have less uh, ruts on top of your hills. Um, now, the one thing I will say is that just because of the bi-directional, or sorry, not bi-directional, but directional tread um, that this particular tire is running, um, it is pushing material, you know, to the sides. So it's creating a little bit more pronounced ridge. Um, but overall, I mean, I'm not complaining about this track. I don't think anybody would. Um, fairly similar to ours, just, you know, a little bit more ridging because of the tread design on this particular tire. So um, that's what I got to report here. Nothing crazy. And, uh, um, but just want to be transparent and show you the differences. Okay, so we came over to tower three to check it out. Um, again, this is the pivot just went through, still water down in the track. Um, and it's just kind of odd because, you know, Third tower in, in theory, should be slightly better than the second tower running the same tire. But, um, you know, this third tower is putting down a little bit more of a track uh, with the 11224 than the one beside it. Just kind of wanted to show you, you know, the track is more pronounced on the ridges. And uh, through the center, it's probably like a one to two inch track. Nothing crazy at all, um, but just want to kind of show you the relative differences. So, you know, here we have a little bit more pronounced track than on tower two. Uh, which I thought was okay, just, you know, had some ridging on it. And then obviously definitely more of a track than with our end tower, um, having our tire for the Pivot Series on it. Um, so two months of running. Let's come back here in another month and check this out and see what it looks like. But uh, this is how things are developing so far. Okay, so just to sort of summarize things and what we saw today, um, for perspective purposes, the pivots here down off to the right is in that, dry spot the gully that we were showing you um, where some of those ruts were and then uh, up on the left of the pivot to the hill here that's where those fresh tracks were that had just gone through and they were still wet um, starting to see some things develop where you know our pivot tire on the end tower here is basically doing what we expected it's not tracking and um, it's you know not causing any issues either um, the next two towers over with the 11 224s you know, we're starting to see some tracks develop, especially in the low spots where they were up to about six inches in the worst case. And uh, average down there was probably like three to four inches. Um, up on the hill here, things are pretty even. You know, the one, the one track is maybe one or two inches, but you know, I'd say fairly even. Again, though, it's a little bit higher up and you'd expect that. So um, we're gonna keep following this set of tires and these tires throughout the growing season. The next month is really gonna be critical because there's a lot of water going down. Uh, we'll come back at the end of that and show you the progress at that stage. I'm Derek Kerr with Evolution Wheel. Stay tuned, we got more to show you.